a distance at which Pluto is, at its furthest from the Sun, is also where Ultima Thule is. That distance is also really far away from us. Ultima Thule is on average 44 times more distant from the Sun than the Earth is. Now, despite the fact that it is so far away, we still got the pictures of it. And after visiting Pluto in 2015, the next destination was set to be Ultima Thule. And in 2018, it arrived. Now, between the launching of New Horizons and reaching Ultima Thule is a whole decade apart. And that is not to say that New Horizons is slow, oh no. At the speed of 16 kilometers per second, it is over 20 times faster than a shot bullet. And it still needed more than a decade to reach Ultima Thule, so they can give you a bit of perspective on how really far away Ultima Thule is and how really big the solar system is. So then, what would standing an Ultima Thule be like? Now, of course, such a thing will not happen in real life, at least not in any near future, since there are things to spend money on that could be a lot more useful. But if such a thing were to happen, what would it be like? Now, getting to Ultima Thule would be a big problem, since it is so far away. And with current technology, it is impossible to sustain a manned trip there. So let's say it's the far future, and we somehow get the problem of sustainability done. I do believe that that will actually happen sometime in the future. So as you would be approaching Ultima Thule, you would immediately notice that it is a very dark place. I'm talking over a thousand times less sunlight reaching this place compared to Earth. And as you would see that you are approaching it very fast, it would be immediately noticeable that Ultima Thule is not a very big asteroid. It is comparable to the size of a big city. Now, landing would be a bit of a problem because of gravity, which is at least a thousand times weaker than the gravity present here on Earth. So the ship with which it would land would need to somehow dig itself into the ground just a bit enough to stay in place and not move. As you would step out, you would obviously realize that you are extremely light. Your spacesuit would probably be specially designed for Ultima Thule so that your feet would stay on the ground. Likely the bottom part of the spacesuit would be heavy so that you could walk somewhat normally. Still, walking would be quite quirky. If you for some reason wanted to jump and escape asteroid's gravity, and just float away, well, you would not be able to do that. That is because, despite the fact that gravity is so weak there, you would still need to jump at the speed of at least 30 kilometers per hour, which is not possible for humans. But you would actually jump very high. So, as you would step out of your ship and look into the distance, you would see a dark terrain, which is, in general, smooth. As in, there are not many hills nor craters. As you would move throughout the asteroid, you would most likely notice that the asteroid is split in two parts. It's like this one asteroid is actually made of two asteroids that are melted together at their ends. As you would be passing through this from your perspective valley, you would notice that the gravity would actually change depending on the place at which you are at, because the mass is not evenly distributed across the asteroid. As you would look up into the sky, you would see the sun, but it would be incredibly dim. And you would see the sun at least six hours into the past. That is because life needs six hours to reach Ultima Thule from the sun. But this also means that the Milky Way would be a lot more pronounced, and you would see it very clearly, a lot better than here on Earth. And if you needed to communicate with someone from Earth, well, just a single message would need at least six hours to reach Earth. And it would need additional six for you to receive a message from the Earth. So pretty much no one could really help you as you would need so much time to communicate. So standing on Ultima Thule would be an interesting, but for sure a very scary experience. 